Right, here we go, up Coombe Lane everyone. I just spoken to a villager. She's um I think she said she knew some walkies or something, but there's the church. I couldn't get through the gate by the way. I never could years ago. There's not a lot of room, you have to take your bag off. So I'm going what I'm doing, I'm weaving up this hill. It does get steeper. And uh, when I get to the top, I've literally got to go through a gate and down the other side, heading for Winscombe, along the drove, which I'm looking forward to. But I've got to keep an eye on the time, because I'm t I've got to allow an hour and a half for me to get up here. So, it goes fast this time. I could have come out the gate there, there's a gate there, look. I sort of did see that gate, actually. But anyway, I wouldn't have spoken to that lady if I'd done that, would I? Yeah, like I said, there, if you see a hedgerow going along, that's the route I took last year. I followed that hedgerow all the way up. It was a lovely walk, actually. And I normally come down this way. Do you? Yeah, I normally come down. I'm, going, I'm risking going up today. I don't know how much shade there's going to be. There's bound to be little pockets of it here and there. Just to cool down a bit. I've got plenty of water. Yeah, it's not as if you've got to climb up onto the top of that, for example, but you, you go past it. And of course, Crook's Peak's over that way. And there's the church with the St Andrew's flag flying high. Over there. Lovely little place, this village. It's a place you could easily go back in time here. It's easy to go back in time. So what it is, we are going up, but it's a gradual climb up, but it, it, there will be some very hot parts to do as well. Right, I'm just going to turn off, take a picture of the right, I'm now there. walking probably the hottest part of the walk, at half past two in the afternoon, no shelter here. I've just emerged from the coom from um, Compton Bishop and St Andrew's Church. Uh, a year or so ago I walked along right over there, the other side of those fields there's a hedge and up through the other side of that hill and then along the top. The top is just up there. I can see the wall, we're very close. But it's very exposed here and you can see it's very, very hot. There is, the wind is very welcoming So we're nearly at the top, sweltering heat, there's going to be thunderstorms at some point, as long as it isn't yet and I get up the top and I can get back to Winchcombe. I've already said don't bother with the four o'clock, it'll be full of hot sweaty kids anyway. Take your time, get yourself a meal deal from co-op, get your Prosecco there. And go and f sit in the old railway station again and eat your packed lunch. <sighs> Don't rush. It's going to take two hours for me to get back. If not two and a half if I don't rush. I've got three and a half hours. And I should be able to do it in there. I'll be, it's all downhill in a minute. As soon as I get up there, it's downhill. I'm just walking out of a coom in the heat, in a heat wave. <sighs> Crook's Peak has just come into view. Only just, we skirted it today. I went right round, right round from Loxton. <sighs> 
just starting to get the pollen in my throat again. There we go, that's Crook's Peak. Right then, I've just I'll walked just up there, folks. I've always known it a lot harder. I must be getting fitter as I get older. But it was hard, it was hard in the heat. There's Crook's Peak. Taking pictures of it. Still looks nice and green round here, doesn't it? The first heat wave this one's been. There's all the sheep being very sensible, sitting under the trees with their babies. There's one down there he's been missing. He's missing somewhere. I don't know if he's still trying to make his way up here, one of them. They're all sensible there. And there's water just nearby for them. There's a trough. I've seen some drinking from it. Yeah, there's one drinking from it now down there. They've got water. See, there's another lot by, and there's a there's a trough there. Look, he's having a drink. That one. They've got water. Well then, everybody, I'm going home to uh, home in a minute. Yeah, you're having a nice time. At least you've all had your hair cut off. It's one good thing, isn't it? Hey. Eh? going to be a storm over the weekend. There could even be one in a minute. Can't tell, can you? I've got to get home back to Winscombe before it starts doing anything like that. I think we're all right for a minute. I'm so pleased I've done that. Do you know I was dreading it? I was dreading coming up that coom. I didn't know if I'd do it. There's the wall that follows all the way around and then you go up the peak, which I've done this year, of course. Look at this lovely shape. I'm glad they've all had their woolly coats taken off. And here we go, here's the gate now. What we don't want now is a great big bull looking at me now. Because I'll tell you what, because I, I, I couldn't go in there. I'd have to go right up that hill. This is the alternative. Downhill. All the way to Winscombe. Right, I'm going to take some pictures again. Over and out for a minute. Right then, folks, here we go, down this steep hill. Sometimes going down is risky. It can be dangerous. Well, I'm doing zigzagging. So you go over one way. I said there's still a risk of me having to pass through cows yet. Oh. So we've left there. Can't, won't see the church of St Andrew anymore now this year. I doubt very much of all be coming over this way now. Um... I still would like to have done that path, but I think it's better to try that in the winter, that path um, over by the Webbington Hotel, because it could have made me have to walk through jungle areas. Now, which way do you want to go? I want to go this way. Just take your time, Cheryl, nice and slow, nice and steady. Exactly. I'm showing you so that you know. Some people say, oh, I just run down that. Well, you, you can if you're young and you haven't got the risk of brittle bones. There's a big arrow, look. I'm going through a stile down the bottom there. You get lots of walkers out, groups, you know, adventurers that um, 
they would gather around here and school parties and things like that, you know. Learning all about the hills and history and geology. And, um, I just love it here. Views right ahead is Banwell Wood. Right ahead. Over the other side there. And then over there you've got Banwell Hill Fort. And then over there you've got Sanford Hill. And we're heading over that way. But not to the hill. No. I've already resigned myself to not worrying about getting... I'm not... I'm not going to even try and get the four o'clock. I've already resigned myself to the six. I've already resigned myself to it. And like I said, in an emergency, if no bus came, I'd walk up the strawberry line to Congressbury and get a Bristol bus. That is one thing I am going to do, actually, just out of pure interest. I'm going to have a walk might even get a train to see how long it takes me to walk from Winscombe to Congress Street. I don't reckon it take long. It certainly won't take long on a bike. So I'm taking my time because I can't afford to risk falling. Not after breaking my wrist this year. Yeah, it's lovely to just enjoy and relax. You've got three hours to get over there. Three. You've got more than three hours, but I'm just saying three hours just to round the figure up. I'm going to walk over that way now. There is a walk further down there where you can walk around towards Crook's Peak along there, and I've done that as well. Sometimes I come to dead ends and have to come back. That's the only problem. We've been lucky so far. No cows. I don't know what I'll do if I come to a field with cows in in a minute. I don't know. <sighs> but at the moment, I'm just enjoying being out in my beautiful Somerset countryside. <sighs> right over there, right over there is Western Super Mare Hill Fort. They'll probably get a visit from me over the weekend. Like I said, I'll have a backlog of uh, video stuff to do. I save it straight to disc. Um, I have been trying to get the images done before I put it on disc, but now I'm just saving them. So I've got such a backlog. And um, saving to disc. Ready to eventually put on YouTube. Like, like I said, I've got a backlog of... Uh, I've got the Quantox to put on, yeah. I've got some of the Dolbury Warren stuff that's got to go on. These are big hikes, plus all the little ones I've done. But I do want a day trip, a couple of day trips out. Um, for example... Um... I don't know when I fit them in. I'm still hoping to go for camping for a couple of days. I still am. Yeah, sorry if I, I'm slow, everyone. I, you could some some people are just speed down here. I mean, I could look. I could do that. I don't want to. The difference is, I don't want to do it. I like walking at this pace. Turn it off for a minute.